That's how the Russian dictator Putin descended from the military helicopter onto Ukrainian soil. The steel Hanichesk is in the frame, so that no one would doubt it. The Kremlin leader personally arrived in the occupied territories of Ukraine on April 18th. This is what the Russian media claim. In the occupied territories, Putin held a meeting with the military leaders of the occupying Russian troops. The conversation, according to tradition, was held in a room resembling a bunker. Later, from open sources, it was possible to identify the location of the headquarters, which geographically turned out to be really in the Kherson region, but with a slight nuance. He was coming to the village of Shaslivtseve on the Arbatsky Arrow, which is located, attention, at least 130 kilometers from the nearest position positions of the armed forces. That is, the rockets would not have reached there. It is about the Brigantina Recreation Center, located at 17 Nabedezhna Street, a Sint Analytics on Twitter. According to Russian media, Putin also visited the temporarily occupied territory of the Luhansk region, where he checked the headquarters of one of the occupation units. The office of the president of Ukraine has already reacted to the Russian dictator's trip around the temporarily occupied Ukrainian territory. Nothing that the trip is a movie for domestic consumption, which is not accepted in the rest of the world. Putin's degradation is impressive. The world waited for his statement a year ago. Now they don't. There's no such political actor. There's only a special tour of the mass murderous author in the occupied and ruined territories to enjoy the crimes of his minions for the last time. Mikhailo Podolyak, advisor to the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine on Twitter. Analysts note that such tours of the occupied territories are attempts to simultaneously dispel rumors about Putin's poor health and show that he is not afraid and is ready to go where it is dangerous. But apart from PR and unnecessary demonstration of their own weakness, they mean nothing. Reported by Roman Smoller, Bogdan Maximets, UATV News.